I'd like to talk about how we can calculate moles and volumes involving solutions. This is especially important because most of our chemistry involves solution chemistry. The math is simply an extension of what we've already done with stoichiometry calculations, converting moles to moles and converting between masses and moles. The most important formula here is the definition of concentration. Recall concentration C is the number of moles of a solute divided by the volume of solution. So here's an example of a problem that we might be able to work using that formula. So we've got Horace dissolving 0 0.0125 moles of pyridine in methanol to make 50 milliliters of solution. What's the concentration of pyridine in the solution? You might not know what pyridine is. In fact, it doesn't matter to be able to answer this question because we're given N, the number of moles, and we're given V, the volume. That's all we need to calculate the concentration. So our formula is concentration is number of moles divided by the volume, 0 0.0125 moles divided by 50 milliliters. Well, we get an answer that's 0 0.00025 moles per milliliter. Are those the units that we want? No, probably not. Our normal unit of concentration is molar, moles per liter. So we want to convert the milliliters into liters. So when we do that, we find that it's 0.25 moles per liter. We have three significant figures in our calculation we can say that the concentration of the solution is 0 0.250 molar in pyridine. In chemistry, we can't dispense moles directly. Balances will tell us grams. So generally, if we're going to dispense a quantity of substance, we have to know what mass we're using. Mass is not part of this formula. Moles are part of this formula. However, we can convert between moles and masses using molar masses. Recall that the mass is proportional to the number of moles. The number of moles is proportional to the mass. So the mass is equal to the number of moles, and then we can convert using the molar mass, the number of moles times the mass per mole. If we want to find the number of moles, then we take the mass and you multiply it that by one mole divided by the mass of one mole. So an example of that would be Galen making a sugar syrup dissolving three grams of sugar into a total volume of seven milliliters. Here we're also given the molar mass of sugar, so you don't have to calculate it. We want to find the molar concentration of the sugar. First thing we need to do is find N so we can plug that into the formula. So to find N, we're gonna start with M, the mass of the sample, and then we can convert that to moles by doing one mole divided by 342.297 grams, because one mole of sugar is 342.297 grams of sugar. That gives us 0 0.008764 moles. That's N, and we can plug that into our formula. So concentration equals N divided by V. That number of moles divided by seven milliliters gives us a concentration in moles per milliliter. Remember, we want molar, moles per liter, so we have to convert the milliliters into liters. Here we have three significant figures, so 1.25 molar is the concentration of this sugar syrup. What if we want to know the number of moles or the mass of a solute in a solution? Starting, of course, with our basic formula that concentration is number of moles divided by volume. Here, this means we're trying to find N, the number of moles of a solute. So we can solve this formula for N, and we get N equals C times V, concentration times volume. When you do this, often your volume will be in milliliters. For the formula, you'll want it to be in liters because the concentration is going to be in moles per liter. So we'll probably need to do a milliliters to liters or liters to milliliters conversion. Here's an example. Claudius dispenses 43 milliliters of a solution. The solution has a concentration of 0 0.350 molar. It's hydrogen fluoride. He's dispensing it into a Teflon beaker. The reason for that is a hydrogen fluoride dissolves glass. Hydrogen fluoride also dissolves flesh. It's pretty nasty stuff. What we're just asking is what quantity did he dispense? So we're asking how many moles of HF are in this beaker with 43 milliliters of this solution? So we want N, the number of moles, is concentration times volume. Concentration, 0 0.350 moles per liter. Volume, 43 milliliters. So this conversion factor, one liter divided by 1,000 milliliters, is going to cancel out both the liters and the milliliters in our formula. Here I've partitioned out the numbers from the units so the numbers are 0.35 times 43 in the numerator, and then dividing by 1,000 in the denominator. The units have largely canceled. All that we're left with is moles of HF. Calculate out all the numbers. 
we get 0 0.01505 moles of HF. Our problem has three significant digits, so our answer is 0 0.0151 moles of HF. Another example, asking for mass, but realizing that that's proportional to the number of moles. So here we have Octavian needs to make up a solution. He wants to make 50 milliliters of a one molar solution of this substance called Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate hexahydrate. Magnesium sulfate, we understand, MgSO4. The hexahydrate means that it has six water molecules crystallized in the crystal. So the water molecules are essentially solid surrounding this unit of magnesium sulfate. We want to find out what mass of salt he needs. To do this, we first need to find how many moles of salt he needs, and then convert that into grams. N equals CV, number of moles, concentration times volume. Concentration is one molar, volume is 50 milliliters. Now, the liters and milliliters should cancel out because they're both volumes, but they're not going to cancel out because they're different units. So we need to do a unit conversion, actually a double unit conversion, and make the units cancel. And that double unit conversion is going to be the factor of one being one liter in the numerator divided by 1,000 milliliters in the denominator. You see that the liters in the denominator and the numerator cancel each other. The milliliters in the numerator and the denominator cancel each other. For the numbers, we then have 1 times 50 divided by 1,000. That gives us 0 0.05 moles. The next thing we have to do is calculate the molar mass so that we can convert from moles of Epsom salt to grams of Epsom salt. So for that, we need to find the molar mass. 24.305 is the molar mass of magnesium. 32.066 the sulfur atom. 4 times 15.999 is the four oxygen atoms in the sulfate ion. And then the 6 times 18.015 is the 6 water molecules. This adds up to 228.457 grams of Epsom salt in one mole of Epsom salt. So then, to find the number of grams of Epsom salt, we take the moles, multiply it by the molar mass. So 228.457 grams is equal to one mole. So we're multiplying it by one. The numbers come out to 11.42 grams. As we see, we've got three significant figures in our numbers, so we can report our answer to three significant figures. That is 11.4 grams of Epsom salt. We've used this formula to find concentration. We've used this formula to find number of moles. Of course, we can also use it to find volume. And let's go ahead and do that. We want to find a specific volume, so we solve for volume. Multiply both sides by V, divide both sides by C. We get volume equals number of moles divided by concentration. When we do that, we'll get an answer in liters. To use it in lab, we might want to convert that liters answer into milliliters. Here's our example. Micella has a solution of 0 0.350 moles HF. So this is the same solution that we had being dispensed into the Teflon beaker before, perhaps. Micella needs 0 0.005 moles for her experiment. So what volume of solution does she need to dispense here? Our formula, volume equals number of moles divided by concentration. 0 0.005 moles divided by 0 0.350 molar. We get our answer is 0.143 liters. We need to convert that into milliliters to be useful. So our conversion factor, 1,000 milliliters, is 1 liter. So numerically, we're just multiplying by 1,000. We get 14.3 milliliters. Now if you look, we only have two significant figures to work with. The number of moles that she needed was only specified to two significant figures, so our answer is 14 milliliters of solution. Of course, if she just wanted as close to 0.0050 moles as she could get, then we'd use all the significant digits that we can find. 